welcome back. Let's talk about extreme bevels. That's a wrap. This video is going to be a little bit different. I need to cut a bevel at an angle that most saws aren't set up for. But perhaps we should start with, what is a bevel? Good point. This graph got to help explain. A bevel is an angled cut, like a miter, except it's along the length of the board. This is usually achieved at the table saw by tilting the blade and pushing the wood across the table. Except I need an extreme bevel with the blade 50 degrees from vertical, which most machines aren't set up to do. So it took a bit of thinking through several iterations to come up with a solution that would be good now, but also useful down the road, in case I decided to do something like this again. My first thought was to build a five degree sled. Combining this with the 45 degree tilt of the blade, I'd get the 50 that I was after. The sled could be made out of scraps and I'd toss the whole thing afterwards since a capacity of five more degrees at the table saw isn't gonna be handy that often. My next thought was to build a sled at 45 degrees. Combining this with the tilt of the blade, I could do any bevel from zero to 90. This would be a sled worth keeping, but at the same time, it would take up a lot of space and I don't really wanna store it for the occasional use. Time to think again. So now I start thinking about holding the wood vertically instead of laying down. This means that I'd only need to tilt the blade 40 degrees from vertical, which is totally doable. I just need a tall fence that'll slip over the existing table saw fence. I had a fence like this for my craftsman contractor saw and I loved it. But I didn't really want to take the time to build a precision fence right now. Then I remember that my dad had some Rockler fence clamps we're using a sacrificial fence when the blade is going to be really close to the fence. I could use these clamps with a board and a piece of plywood to accomplish the same thing as the previous idea, but it'd be much quicker to make and even smaller to store. So that's what I did. As you can see, it looks just like the SketchUp. And one advantage of this fence over the previous model is that it'll work with any table saw. I'm actually cutting ceiling tiles, not wood. And I've got a Ryobi table saw set up outside with fans that'll blow the dust away from me. I'll take care of the cutting. Here you go. Thanks, man. No worries. Let me get this tile fitted into place. And this is the last tile needed for the entire basement ceiling to be done. If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a great week, and as always, get out there and make some sawdust even if the dust isn't coming from wood.